Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm a little more awake today. Yesterday, oh I'm from, yes, <laughs> Jim, <laughs> you're too funny, I forgot it yesterday. I was half asleep yesterday, but I'm from Western New York and my name is Nona Grace. Um, yesterday I was so sleepy when I did this, my my body wanted to go take a nap at, at I think it was 6.30 I was doing mm -hmm. it. I was actually on time, but I was so tired. But then, by the time it was bedtime, I had gotten my new life, and I didn't feel like going to bed. So I answered a few comments, and then I went to bed. When I refreshed and saw no more, it was like a relief in a way, only because I wanted to go to bed by then. Okay, now today I'm going to show you a few things and I'm going to put a little video in. I'll put the little video in right here. This is where I think Jim should put his shed, right where I've got my rooster house, right behind my shed. Now I just have to convince him. I think he could put one here and there'd be plenty of room. And this is where the garden used to be, so there's still plenty of room. And this way the truck still can come in to dump on the compost pile. I wanted to show you all the grass that went on the pile. He covered it up. Look at this. He he actually, he had it dumped. He made me a grass pile. We used to put the grass around the plants. When you do your clippings, just put them around the plants. It helps keep the moisture in and keeps the, the weeds from growing. If you have a large um, garden, I'm going to check the bird house as long as I'm out here. Oh, there's the bird. She just flew out. We don't have to knock. Well, I will knock just in case. Let me see what's going on. I'm a little more wide awake. I noticed in my video last night, man, I was tired. I could have gone to sleep at 6.30 and then I, then I got a second wind after my video was posted and first thing you know it was 10 o'clock and I still wasn't tired but I did go to bed I figured I might as well go to bed and then I get up I wake up and, and it's so bright in the bedroom it's really nice that it's bright and I think it's gosh it's got to be late and I open my eyes and it's only like a little after six which is still good because I've, I've woken up and now I get up I may not feel like it. I could fall back to sleep, but I know when you fall back to sleep the second time, you could feel real groggy. And I didn't want to feel that way, so I got up. This is kind of neat, walking outside. I love it. You know, uh, in the winter, I, I look out the window and thankful that I don't have to go outside. But um, in the summer, it's nice to be out and about. I was listening to a few videos as I was answering my comments this morning and um, I always listen to the ones that commented definitely now I've got now I will go on to the other ones that I haven't um, heard from in a while and I will watch those and then I will watch some of the ones that I'm just interested in like the crocheting stuff I really got into that that um, Pamela really inspired me. Actually, it was Marna, Marna that started it all. I did that Lego um, Afghan. I think I've talked about this um, before and just now with showing you the big pile of um, grass. This is where we put the grass that he mows usually. It goes in this... this um, bin that he has made for me. I don't know what's even on the video. I did it this morning. I thought I would do something early while I was bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, <laughs> as they would say. Because, boy, I, I get really sleepy around 6.30. And then I get new life, and I go to bed like quarter after nine. I try quarter after nine, 9.30 at the latest. But last night, I think it was 10 or 10.30, I went to bed, something like that. I was not, I was, had gotten my new second wind, as they say. Well, today I'm going to show you. I had told um, Pamela 
Um, Pamela's, oh, I should look up this channel. Oh, good grief. Pamela's Creations. Um, oh, gosh. Pamela, I'm so sorry. I don't remember your name, channel name. I do know your name, but I will put it in the description so that people can find you. Anyways, I had told her she was looking because she was going to do a crochet, a lap robe for her. someone had requested a lap robe. And I had put in my comment to her that the a zigzag pattern was really fast and easy and it's double crochet. Well, I want to show you what it looks like. Here, hold this and hold this. I want to show you what it looks like. It looks like, I couldn't find my, I couldn't find my little one that I did, but it looks like this. And this is the double crochet and it's the deep V. There is a different one that has a, a lesser, lesser um, zigzag to it. It's more of a rounded. I like this style. And what it is is you're doing. You're, um, <laughs> here, you want to hold that in so I can talk, and I can't hold it under my chin. Um, what you're doing is you're doing like ten stitches, and three in one spot, and then ten stitches, then you skip two, and ten stitches, three in one spot. 10 stitches and then skip two is how it is. I don't know the actual count of how many you would need. You'd have to, oh, think in your head as you're making the chain, I guess. This this one I made when I was in, when I was 16. I was not in any grade. I was in a grade, but I don't remember what grade, but I remember 16 and I remember the blue. I was on the blue. That's the last, it starts with the blue and ended in, and the blue is in the middle. But anyways, when I got to the last skein, I made that skein last, oh, forever, because I really didn't want my project to end. But I had made this a long time ago. It's beautiful, I think. And I will give that to Mr. Jim. And I have also, oh, wait a minute, I want to do this first. Yes. I have so many things I want to tell you. And this is a shield that my husband's, Workplace is making everybody wear. Well, they're making and selling them, and too. And they're selling them. I don't know if you can hear me very well. I will leave it on for a second. But this is what it looks like. And so I'm going to go shopping, and I'm going to wear this. Do this. Go on. Go on. So they can kind of see you all the way around. Do, 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 do. See? Pretty nifty, huh? That's a shield. That, um, what's it called? True Hero True Shield. True Hero Shield. And it's made in the USA at the Jamestown Plastic um, Corporation. And they've got a website. <laughs> what's the website? TrueHeroShield.com TrueHeroShield.com True All is one word. Yeah, all, yeah. And they're, sell they're selling these. And they did a lot of these for different places that have ordered them but anyways that's what I'm gonna wear oh and I put a headband on did you notice I did okay and the other thing that I had to do or wanted to do actually it was nice because Wendy Barron had tagged me and she tagged me in the tag that I had already done um, by two other people that have tagged me I'm trying to think oh gosh um, Marnia had tagged me and oh the glory no, no it was oh no 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 it was I remember her name oh wait a minute I have to think a minute hold on it's 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 oh gosh I gotta go get it because I don't want to not say her name her name is um Vicky oh I know it's Vicky Murray. I remembered and I was gonna go get the iPad because it's Vicki Marie she tagged me also and I had done the, I had already done this tag and when Wendy Barron tagged me I I said to her I will do the tag but I'm gonna do it a little different I made up a tag and it's called the questions on the blue booger tag and created by me <laughs> It's all questions that I did. And I will ask the questions and I will answer the questions. It's all stuff that I kind of want to answer, I guess. Uh, that's the only best, that's the best tags. Okay. Question number one is, 
What will be the number one name for babies born after the blue booger is over? You know, right now, there's a lot of babies. Well, I should have gone to question two. It should have been question one. <laughs> but I think the number one name is going to be named after this blue booger. So it's going to be either Charmin, and the nickname will be TP, or it could be Bleach, it could be Peral, it could be, um, I wrote it because I can't, uh, um, Quarantina, <laughs> except I would call it Tina, um, Pandemica, Pandemica. I guess is how you would say it. I don't know. But anyways, those might be the names that we start to hear because <laughs> do you, do you, num, now question number two should have been question number one. So I'll just, re, I'll tell you number two. Do you think there will be a baby boom because of the blue booger? I think there's going to be a baby boom um, because what else have people got to do <laughs> besides argue? There's other things to do. Okay, and number three, will there be new road signs? And if so, what will they say? I think there's going to be new road signs, and I think the signs are going to say, keep the distance and wash your hands <laughs> are going to be out there. They're, there's going, they're, they're going to be out there. I have a feeling. And number four, how will people greet each other in the future after the, after the blue booger? I'm thinking they're going to go, hi, or hi, or I don't know, or, or keep their eyes down and not do any greeting of any kind. But I think, when, or they might bow like other countries do. They bow. Who knows? And they might do the elbow. I don't know. Or like, hey. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't like the elbow and I don't like the fist. I think it feels like it's like when you don't like something, you go, no give them a, what for the back of the hand kind of thing um number five after the blue booger will people visit and socialize again well they'll probably want you to call before you show up i'm thinking and they probably will have booties ready for you to put on your feet or you have to remove your shoes and then put on booties and they'll probably have a hazmat outfit for you to put on or something I don't know I, I, I wonder to wear a mask and they house. might want a mask on in their house it's gonna be crazy I don't know if people will do it uh, socialize like they used to I don't people didn't socialize much before and now they're really not going to is what I'm thinking number six what will continue to be in short supply after the blue booger oh I wrote that down and I didn't put it on this paper I think patience and, oh shucks, um, kindness. Patience and kindness, I think. I think was what I thought of. I, I had stuff written on the other paper so that I would just be able to flow <laughs> with this thing. I think those are the things that are going to be in short supply. I think the stores will be well stocked, but I think people's patience and they're not going to be so good. And what, um, let's see, number seven, do you think the blue booger will return? And if yes, when? Well, let me think. I think the blue booger is going to come back. But you know who else thinks it's going to come back? What's that? Um, Gene Dixon? No. No. That psychic. Um, oh, I wrote her name on that paper, too. <laughs> not well prepared for this um I don't know I can't remember but anyways I think it's going to come back but then it's predicted that it will come back in 10 years and then it will go away and never return but you know what I think we should do and I'm not a doctor as I must say I think to to build your immunity we really need to keep our immunity up and you know what you need you need a lot of sunshine you gotta get that vitamin D and you got to get zinc. So eat those nice eggs. They have zinc in, as in eggs. Eggs have had a bad rap for a long time. 
they tell you to eat them, and then they tell you don't eat them, and they tell you to eat them, and then they tell you don't eat them. They only eat the whites, they say. No, no, no. Eat the whole egg. The um, zinc would help. And, and the sunshine. cholesterol that's within the eggs, too. They, they claim cholesterol it's helps. It's good for you. So, But we're not doctors. We're not lawyers. We're not Indian chiefs. <laughs> we're just trying to help you stay healthy. Vitamin C. And vitamin C and the zinc and the vitamin D are the two that really, really. Because we need to get our sunshine. You know, there's a lot of people that are not getting the sunshine because they're sitting inside playing video games instead. And or they're taking the stay at home, stay inside, yeah, literally. They're, they're not getting outside. You have to get outside, breathe that fresh air. Breathe it. You don't need a mask in the fresh air, I don't believe. What's going to be Why out there? Why you're out by yourself, you don't just, need anything. Just go outside and breathe the air. Okay, and number eight, when the blue booger is gone, will people plan for the future or live from day to day? Well, I think that some people are going to plan for the future and they're going to start gardens that never had gardens before and maybe um, stock up on a few things that came short this time. But I think there's still going to be people that will just live from hand to Mouth to hand is yeah. how they used to say it. I guess they're not gonna, they're not gonna, they're not gonna fill their bucket with a, a steady drip. They're gonna just, their bucket will have a hole in it probably. Um, number nine. Do you think the blue booger is a real, is real, or a conspiracy to remove our rights? A lot of times I think it's a lot of made up stuff because if you look around, just look around yourself and what do you see around yourself? Just around you, where's your, where you're at, your home. Or because I think a lot of it's coming from the media. There is the, there is a virus out there. There is something that's making people sick, but you know what else they're doing? They're not telling us how many people have died from heart attacks. They're not telling us how many people are dying from um, loneliness. They're not telling how many people are committing suicide. They're not telling us any of these other things. They're just focusing on this one blue booger. They're not, they're not letting us know about anything else. So I th sometimes don't believe what I'm hearing. So I do think it's a conspiracy a little bit to make us fearful so that you don't want to have don't want to express your rights. Um, and now, number 10. This is an easy one. Oh, I forgot the bowl again, too. Darn it. I got to go get it. I'll go get it in a minute. But number 10 is, did you enjoy, did you find this tag fun and thought-provoking? I found it fun, and it made me think, because I had to think up these questions. <laughs> but it, it is, um, it does make you think, make you wonder. And I'll go get my bowl. I'll be right back like a snap of the fingers. Magic, I'm back. <laughs> it was that fast? It was fast, I'm sure. Okay, I got the bowl and I've got the rest of the names. I'm going to just draw out because this tag before had five people that you were supposed to draw. So I'm going to draw five people. And if you feel like doing this tag... That would be nice. If you don't, it's okay. I don't worry about it. it. You know, it's just fun. If you don't have a video for the day, this kind of helps. And um, I'll put the questions down below. And you can, I wrote them out, but I kind of didn't say them like I wrote them out. So you say them however makes it suit you best. So I'll draw the names. I got to draw one, two. Three. I wonder who the lucky people are. Four. Got one more. You're the last one. Number five. You want to take the bowl? This one says, Oh, Wendy Barron. <laughs> Mama does keto. She's the one that tagged me on this one. Or tagged me to do a... So, Wendy, you're, you're tagged. Angelo Boutis. Angelo, I haven't heard a video from you in a long time. Maybe it's time to do a video. All right. Um, who's this one? 
eccentric nature, Eric. He is, he's, he's a funny person. You know, he does a lot of videos about tea, plants, and he gives you a lot of information what those um, plants are good for and what the tea is good for. And it's really, he's very interesting. So Eric, eccentric nature. This is kind of fun because I don't even know who's going to be chosen. And Susie, out west homestead. A lot of you know who she is. Susie, this one is for you too. Um, and Steve Harris. Steve, you're going to have, I, I'm looking forward to your, you doing this. Steve plays the guitar, the mandolin, the banjo, um, the electric, or the, the, keyboard? No, no, the guitar with the bar. Um, oh, steel, steel guitar? Steel guitar. He plays, yeah, he plays all these instruments. Well, Steve, okay, so Steve Harris, Eccentric Nature, Out West Homestead, Angela Boutis, and Wendy Barron. This is so much fun. Wendy likes to be tagged. I do too. <laughs> It's kind of fun, but this one is a little bit different only because I made up the questions. And I chose questions that I knew I could answer. Because <laughs> when you get tags, a lot of times you don't know how you're going to answer them. So that's what I did. And um, Jim put out the furniture on the porch. Uh, well, some of the furniture. He put a table out there for me. And two chairs that I painted years ago. And I said, do we still have those chairs? He brought them out. One is a rocking chair and one is a regular chair. I should have a whole line of rocking chairs. I, I think my house looks like those houses of the down south when they show the, the people sitting on the porch with all the rocking chairs. I wish I had those, but I don't. But anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So, bye-bye.